Welcome to Everyone's a Millionaire podcast. Looking back, what advice? This is actually my favorite question here. Looking back, what advice would you give your younger self about building wealth? Like, what would you tell yourself maybe 5, 10, 15 years ago to speed this process up for you? You're obviously here already, but you know, talking to your younger self, what would be that advice? That's probably the easiest question for me to answer. Uh, the, the 15 years ago, the first thing would be get a mentor, right? And like, that would actually be the only advice. Find the thing that you want to do and find somebody doing 10x what you want to do and just do whatever you can to be around them. Whether you got to pay to play, whether you got to, you know, you got to go to some charity events to get around it, like do whatever it is because that alone will will progress you into into success no matter what your field is whether it's business real estate sports whatever it is i guess at that age when you're talking about saying you're 15 16 the only thing is like your choice right what direction do you want to go in and maybe that's something off the bala and you want to be you know the next pablo Escobar or something like that i don't know right point is you you like picking that thing would be the only base but getting a mentor even in that case right some people are fortunate enough to have like mentors and their parents and other individuals that just happen to be around them. So they benefit from that. But the exact advice I would get is be intentional about it. Mm. Like, who do I see myself as? Who do I want to be? At least right now, even if that changes. And who can I em- emulate? And the mentors, I don't mean to always have to be like, hey, Dave, let me ask you a question. You got books that you can follow, right? Au- authors and things like that. A lot of audible books, things like that. Podcasts and everything is all over social. But then you do have groups, communities, Facebook groups, meetups, all these different things. Like-minded individuals come together and you find somebody like, hey, I like their core values. They resonate with me. What they're doing is something that I just wish I could dream of doing a tenth of what they were doing. That's who you want to go be around. And everything will start to fall in place because of who you surround yourself with. Be intentional about who you surround yourself with and take action. Man, I love it. I agree with everything you said. Philip, you are the man. I am so grateful to have the opportunity to get you on this show and interview you. Tons of value today. In the event that somebody's listening to this and they want to connect with you. 